Welcome back. This is the postgame show presented by the Maroon Club, enhancing 23 Division I sports. Join the Maroon Club today and our player of the game presented by Coca-Cola. Experience the Coke side of life. Zach one point shy of his career high as we double check. 16 is career high at 15 today. But here's Coach O'Hanlon with Mike Joseph. Coach, a great effort and especially by your seniors today. Just couldn't get there. Yeah, I was so proud of these guys, you know. I mean, they fight their they fight fight their butt off, you know. And um, Roof and, uh, and 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 Bryce and uh, you know and uh, Ben. I mean, they gave us they gave us everything they had, you know. And um, we had our opportunities. There was a couple moments in there that uh, we they kind of took advantage of it. We broke down, and uh, and uh, unfortunately, that's the result. Uh, Tillman Dunbar and Will Kelly, tough matchups inside. Some key rebounds for them but I thought Freeland did a nice job inside for you uh, Matt Clanusi just couldn't get off tonight yeah I thought that Ben did a very good job I mean he's one of the few guys we have that can look uh, Will Kelly in the eye and, uh, and you know bother him a little bit you know and um, and he did and he and he did a good job for us and uh, as I said they they fought hard and uh, against a very good team team that's in second place here and what what is the message coach obviously you dropped a, a couple in a row here but the, the, these kids uh, they're sticking with you I mean they're really trying every time out I mean you got the big lead the 15 to 3 lead you stayed with it you're shooting hot but it seems to come down to this end and both teams didn't shoot well at your end of the court no um, as I, you know it's hard to put a finger on it as I said sometimes in a game like this a couple key rebounds a couple stops that we didn't come up with uh, uh, you know, and a couple layups that we had. And, you know, it always seems to be somebody that's, that's capable that may have not one of their top games. And we need to be running on all cylinders to kind of uh, to, to be able to beat these teams. Yeah, thanks, Coach. Thank you. The always gracious Fran O'Hanlon. We turn right here, Zach Roofer. Zach, uh, uh, 15 point tonight, one, uh, one short of your career high. But it seemed like you seniors came out tonight with a little bit, uh, a little extra fire. Yeah, I mean, when you're having a season like this, you're just doing everything you can to uh, give all your effort out there and hopefully come out with a win. Um, obviously, today we came out short again, but we're just going to keep working. Well, we talked about the tough matchups that they have, obviously, at the point guard and down inside. But I thought shooting the basketball early in the game, you guys came out like a house of fire. But it seemed when we turned to the other end, neither team, and I talked to Coach O'Hanlon about this, really shot well at the other end of the court. Yeah, I mean, for us, shooting isn't normally our issue. Uh, it comes down to little things like rebounding, no turnovers, you know, making shots down the stretch. So... I think we got to work on those little things more than our shooting. <laughs> and uh, you shaved the beard. Yeah, I yeah. see you got rid of it. It really turned out well. Yeah. You're going to grow it back, or are you going to kind of stay clean shaven all the way through? I think I had to go clean shaven all the way through. I had my time with it. <laughs> Thanks for a couple minutes. No problem. Thank you. Clean shaven. I am clean shaven as well. Back to you guys. <laughs> all right, let's go to Scruffy John Leo with yeah, the highlights. Yeah, I was going to suggest that, Mike. You know, I was going to adopt your hairstyle, but I think it's adopting me. Uh, hey, uh, boy, maybe uh, Kendall Moore did a great job in the second half. A couple of key shots at key times. Uh, you know, Lafayette went to some zone, Gary, uh, but uh, it seemed that the big moments Navy was able uh, to uh, make shots against that zone. Here's their transition, all triggered by Will Kelly, and then the defensive pressure on the inside. That leads directly uh, to their transition. Sean Anderson finishing strong. We saw a lot of that from Navy. Uh, here's a big bucket, a big three by Sean Anderson. The game was in the balance at this point. He had two big ones. Here's a shot fake, and then this drive. So that was five quick points by Sean Anderson that really turned the tide. Tillman Dunbar with an acrobatic move to the bucket. Look at this shot, Gary. Hits the, almost the bottom of the front of the rim, and at that point, you had a sense that the bounces weren't going Lafayette's way. Nick Lidner doing a great job getting his body into Will Kelly for a tough finish on the inside. Then Nick negotiating the referee, the sideline, to execute the two-on-one, and a great dish to Zach Rufer for the finish. Lafayette never went away. They battled and battled. Great dish right here from Lidner to uh, Ben Freeland. Did a great job there. And look at the move by Monty Boykins, an acrobatic whirling dervish through the lane. Brought the house down, then they really fall asleep on Bryce. He steps back, knocks down a three. You know, Gary, we've said this over and over again. Listen, nine losses in a row is nine losses in a row. But there hasn't been one of these games that Lafayette hasn't fought tooth and nail from beginning to end and found themselves at some point in a position to win it. So come tournament time, if this team stays together, you know what Lafayette's history is in tournament time. And Navy, too, has persevered as they sit in second place now along uh, with Boston University, just one game behind Bucknell, who lost this afternoon in their ball game. So here are the numbers for Navy. 74 points on 23 field goals. 
Eight for 16 from beyond the arc, 20 for 32 from the foul line. They were led 21 points by Tillman Dunbar, 10 points for Sean Anderson, and a double-double for Will Kelly. 12 points and 10 rebounds. Navy goes to 18 and nine, and nine and five in the Patriot League. For Lafayette, they're 68 points on 24 field goals, nine for 23 from beyond the arc. After a great first half, not so good in the second half, just 22% shooting threes, 11 for 15 from the free throw line. They were led by Zach Rufers, 15 points, Nick Linder with 13, Bryce Scott with 12, and Ben Freeland with a good ball game, eight points and six rebounds. Lafayette five and 20 now, two and 12 in the Patriot League as they'll sit in that number 10 spot. Final score, it's Navy 74, Lafayette 68. A reminder, you can watch the women tonight on the Patriot League Network on your computer as they'll take on Navy at seven o'clock. That's it for John Leone, for Mike Joseph, Rick Gio, the RCN television team. Goodbye, everybody.